at the recently concluded 25th Nigerian Economic Summit, which hosted the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, governors of state and business industry leaders, conversations were held on positioning Nigeria to compete with the giant. A plenary session was held also regarding prioritizing industrialization and education to become a dominant frontier economy. With regard to industrialization, the government needs, in my view, to do two things. In many dimensions, simply get out of the way. In other dimensions, in other dimensions, do what is done in other parts of the world to stimulate investment. It's about investment, it's about entrepreneurship, it's about risk-taking, it's about job creation, and at the heart of it, it's about prosperity. That's on, it, on industrialization. On education, Nigeria must look at the top and at the bottom. And let me start at the bottom. We cannot, for much longer, continue to have the world's highest number of out-of-school children. The investment in education, whether it is out-of-school children, whether it's the girl child, in my view, a massive program of basic education is at the heart of what we will do, have to do in order to make progress. We can only achieve what we need, even with the emergency, when we articulate what our overall plan is for the nation. Where do we want to go? Like uh, uh, Dr. Deng Salami said, what are the areas where we want to compete? Where is the world trending to that we need to develop our people? Once we define that, we must then redefine the education that we're delivering to our children and in the way we're delivering it to them. So we must redefine our universities and close the gap between what the universities are teaching or what our educational system is teaching from primary school all the way to what industry requires and what the industries of the future that we're targeting require so that we are preparing manpower that will be absorbed immediately because there are gaps to be filled. I believe that we cannot play, we cannot compete with the jazz on all fronts. We must identify those areas that we can indeed compete. Now, believe me, there is already an area in which we are already sitting with the dance on the same table. Today, the Tango Testament Group is probably among the 10 largest cement producers. Now. There is no reason why we cannot identify similar sectors, create the conditions for such sectors to, to compete, and indeed encourage those that are investing in those sectors to grow and compete with the giant.